responsive sidebar with HTML, CSS JavaScript, closed sidebar menu only displays toggle button, logo and menu icons, whereas when we open the sidebar, it shows logo name with logo, menu names along with associated icons and social icon links. I hope you notice the toggle button at the top, displaying arrow. We will make sure that when the sidebar is closed, it points right, and when open, arrow is pointing left. If you notice that we can also close the side navbar by clicking outside the menu bar, then good job, we will make it happen at the end with JavaScript. Considering my laziness, I am gonna keep the same logo image as the previous videos. This is our sad empty JavaScript file. As usual, I am using box icons. I will add the link in the description. With CSS style sheet, pay attention on the CSS resets I use in most projects. We are using Lotto Google font, another link in the description. We will be using some of these root variables in this video. Now comes our HTML and body settings. I have decided to simply show you the reset code and reusable classes rather than code them, but I will code sidebar content to save our time. Please note down the anchor styles, cause we will use a lot of anchors. Among reusable classes we have row and pretty, we will be using here. The row class is basically setting up container that centers its items. Pretty class is basically the slight glassy outlook with border that we will apply to the sidebar. This header text class is simply gonna be used to write the logo. Content is where we will style our sidebar menu. Let's add a title here. It's good practice even though I don't do it in my videos often. Let's go see our web page. Great. Now let's code HTML now. All right, so let's start structuring our web page with HTML. Let's have a sidebar with classes pretty and row that we mentioned in our reusable classes. Within the logo, we have logo image and text with header text class that we displayed in our text defaults. If you are wondering how I am using shortcuts in HTML, then watch my short on this. Here comes our navigation menu links. Within each link, we have an icon and a nav link. Me and my obsession with row class is never ending. I love box icons. They seem pretty, but they don't seem to have what I desire still, I love to use it. We are going to have a total of five menu items here. While we are changing icon and menu name, notice the huge logo on the right side. Well. We use this logo in our short for favicon and also responsive restaurant landing page website. Now let's pretend I didn't promote many videos in this short amount of time. While you are bored with this video please move your thumb or cursor and accidentally subscribe to my channel. We also have some social icons. We added three icons and with icons I made a huge mistake, which I will let you guys guess until I get it right later. Watch me suffer when I realize the mistake way later. Overall icons are showing nice, I guess. Since we are going to require the switch arrow direction at the top while opening and closing the sidebar, we are going to add the icons for left arrow and right arrow suggesting the direction which sidebar will go when this toggle button is clicked. Let's make sure we are done with HTML completely. Let's see these classes we used in HTML and CSS one more time. Yes, we are done here. So let's style it. Let's put some makeup on our sidebar to make it look sexy. We styles the sidebar with a fixed position, narrow initial width, and transition effect for width changes. I think I am going to have to set media queries after JavaScript, so as to ensure everything works perfectly at the end when navbar can toggle. We are only adding transition to width 
because we are going to have a nice width change between opening and closing this navbar. This styles the list of links to stack vertically rather than horizontally since row class is applied. This side open class is only going to apply when toggle button opens the sidebar leading to increase in its width. We used clamp for keeping things responsive. All links must be styled with a specific line height and bottom border. Considering the use of row class, we don't want links content to go to the next line when there is no space. So, we are not flex wrapping anything here. Logo containing logo and logo name text will have some height, padding, width, and margin to the logo section. We want logo image to be very small as in similar height with menu icons so it can look good when sidebar is closed. These social icons are yet to be seen, but still gonna style them and get them to look good. Here is the thing, we have some rules set about what we will display when sidebar is open and what to hide when sidebar is closed. For that reason, we have these social icons, menu link names and logo not displaying since sidebar is gonna be close initially. But when sidebar is open opposite will happen and hidden things will be displayed. We will also be using animation for opacity to make it look fancy. Remember to add the correct animation name alongside keyframes. Editing this video made me sleep for some reason so forgive my mistakes if you see any. Now comes open and close toggle button where only one icon is supposed to be seen at a time. So, with sidebar closed only open button shows and with open sidebar close button shows. Now let's position the toggle button at the top right corner. Also let's increase the size of the toggle icons. Look stoke. Let's do JavaScript. There are two parts of JavaScript. First function suggests to add or remove side open class on sidebar by toggling. For that we are going to use query selector to select toggle buttons and sidebar itself. Event listener is also very convenient for applying function on an event like click. Make sure to add the right class or ID for sidebar and toggle. Here is where we toggle the side open class on the sidebar to open or close it. Now let's see if our first part is working. It's working, but we also want the sidebar to close when we click anywhere outside the navigation sidebar. This brings us to the second part where we put event listener on the entire body. You have seen me call class names with query selectors, but how about ID names? For that we use get element by ID. Now we check if the click occurred outside the sidebar and the toggle button. It's exclamation, not whatever I just wrote before toggle button. So, if click occurred outside, then close the sidebar by removing side open class. I guess it's not working because I am still unaware of the exclamation mark at this point in video. Well, congratulations, both parts are working now. We will use this opportunity to finalize our work and debug everything and make it look perfect with responsive media queries and any other means necessary. So, if you notice logo image is shrinking vertically on large screen, but is fine on small screen. Let's figure out why and where. Considering logo itself has a lot of styles, let's check it out. Gotcha. Padding problems. I prefer to do mobile first, rather than large screen sizes, so here I am saying for screen size larger than 768 pixels. Logo should have no padding. Logo image is fine, but arrow seems to be too much on the left side of large screen. This 7 pixels seems good. Let's try it. 
Now on screen sizes larger than 1024 pixels, we want toggle button to move only 7 pixels to the right. Looks good everywhere but, we have finally realized that social icons can't be seen at all and embarrassingly we are close to the end of the video. Still looking for the culprit though. I mistakenly wrote one in place of L. I should have copy pasted icons from my text file, but for some reason I love to write them. Yep, there it is, our legendary social icons. Did you see the logo text cutting from the bottom? Let's find the solution to the problem. We did mess with the logo padding might be why it's happening. Yep, that's the problem if I keep the padding logo image starts shrinking if I don't logo is overflowing, which is not allowed. How about we come up with a solution to avoid padding only when sidebar is closed, but keep padding when sidebar is open. I guess we should put it in 768 pixels category. Let's finalize everything and be done with this. Congratulations, we are done.